My name is John Warren. A lot of people know me as the chair of the Hunt Museum. I guess at the Hunt, we've done a lot of different things um, over the last number of years while I've been chair. But one of the things I've really enjoyed is being able to be, you know, participants and to be host for the Limerick Literary Festival. As we've been opening the Hunt up to the public, and one of, I suppose, one of the big um, projects I'm so looking forward to is this transformation of the garden and taking down the railings. Yeah, I'm one of these wannabe readers, right? So I'd love to have more time to read, but it always seems to be doing 10 million different things that prevent me. And so I end up with a stack of books that I would love to read and thinking I'll do that next week. So I guess the thing is with COVID now, it's going to be a big different this Christmas. We'll have to live things differently. So I reckon this is the moment to catch up on some of the reading and actually get some new um, um, examples of, of books I'd like to read as well. I mean, I have a particular interest in urban redevelopment and, and in design and cities and the way that works. And I keep getting sort of, you know, or coming across new books in that area that are make compelling reading. So that puts pushes away the fiction, I think, a lot. Um, but I think probably deep down, a lot of it tends to be sort of, you know, books that relate to something that I've actually been involved in or that is meaningful for me. Well, yeah, the Santa list is coming, right? So, I mean, look, there are the obvious ones like Donald Ryan's, which I haven't gotten around to reading, and Colm has, Colm McCann has a new one. He was involved with us in the Narrative 4 charity that, that is here on O'Connell Street. So I constantly try and, and read Colm's. He's, he's an excellent writer, and I'm hearing super things about Donald's. But but there is one that's really fascinating me. I just spotted it in O'Mahony's recently. You know, the Are You Going Uptown, which is this lovely book with all the... Um, you know, shopping in Limerick. So I'd say we'll definitely be buying one for my mum's shopping uh, or for her Christmas stocking. But it's one of those books where you kind of feel like I'm going to buy that for her, but actually I really want to read it myself. So we might be buying two copies of that because these are just memories for everybody. You look back at what O'Connell Street was as you grew up as a kid in Limerick and the way it operated and some of the shops and they bring back memories. And that's what a lot of these books are like. And that's what I mean by meaningful books that have a personal touch. And then I think the other one that I'm really, um, after finding out about, and I suppose in many ways, Cullum's you know, book was a little bit the same idea of these parents and their stories, is that I lived in France for a number of years in Paris and was there around five years ago now, I guess, when the Bataclan terrorist attack was. And their Il nous reste les mots is a, is a really interesting book where the parents of one of the terrorists and one of the young women that was killed in the in the attack had this conversation with each other. And I think somebody in France has recommended that one to me. And I'm, I'm in questions whether I'll get it in the English version or the French one, but either way, I think that'll be compelling reading. I think now that as we get closer to Christmas, you realize just what you can't do coming up to this Christmas. And I think everybody needs a mental break that it's going to be that time to, to sit down. I mean, normally we would tend to go away for a couple of weeks every summer, which wasn't possible this year because we kind of stayed around and did short trips in Ireland. And so that two week holiday that I think everybody should have in their, in their life just didn't happen. And so I think that's going to come this Christmas. And I think it's going to be lock the door, turn on the Christmas tree lights and the fire and just like enjoy a couple of good books. <music>